Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. Two fairly new study Bibles, four study Bibles, these are fairly new, the Wearsby Study Bible. I like Warren Wearsby. I recommend his commentary, especially on almost everything like non-theological, like I, I, anyhow, I'm Pentecostal. He's not. He messes up there, in my opinion, on some stuff. And then the Haley's Bible Handbook. They've come out with a Haley's uh, Study Bible. And this is put out by Zondervan, and this is going to be put out by Thomas Nelson, which are both owned currently by Harper Collins. And Zondervan just bought Thompson Chain, so now Thompson Chain is under the Harper Collins umbrella as well. Now, one of the first things you'll notice is the Wearsby Study Bible is a little bigger. What I mean by bigger, it's a little thicker. The Haley's is actually just a tad wider, maybe 16th, maybe even close to eighth of an inch wider. The Wearsby, both these are in hardback, and that's how I save money, because there's just no use buying them in leather if you're just going to study them and put them on a bookshelf. But you can see that they have uh, ribbon markers, but the Haley's only going to have one. The Wearsby is going to have two. Now, I have done individual reviews on both of these. So you can check those out on the channel. We're going to see if this is Smith's own. It is. Smith's own merely means that it's going to lay flat just because of the fact that it's sewn and not just a glued binding. And this is going to be Smith's own as well. Now, as far as print size, we'll let you just see what this looks like here. Readability. Both these companies have gotten with 2K Denmark and come out with what's known as comfort print. And so comfort print is just a incredibly readable print. They have done computerized graphics, understanding how people can read various things and how they appear to various people. And so, you know, both of them are going to have that. Um, you know, the Wearsby's bigger print, I'm not totally sure it's any uh, easier to read because that's all subjective, because there is better spacing in the Haley's, like spacing. So let's go to an introduction here in the Haley's. And you can see the Haley's doesn't have, it is beautiful, full color, but it doesn't have much in the way of an introduction. This is Exodus, for example, and we'll do Exodus in the Wearsby as well. Wearsby just died not long ago, not long after this Bible came out. It may have been when the Bible came out, I'm not sure. But neither one are going to have references as their strong suit. What I mean by that is introductions as their strong suit. They're not going to be like an open Bible. They're not going to be like a life application or chronological study Bible and those type things. Let's see if this has got some stuff in between Malachi and Matthew. A lot of them do. This has quite a bit in it. I remember when I did the review, I was a little uh, nonplussed. I, it just, I didn't feel like it had as much as I was expecting, maybe. But, you know, second looks many times show different things. So it does not have anything between Malachi and Matthew. A lot of your study Bibles do. A lot have tons there, and, and people miss. They'll go for a long time and miss a lot of their study Bibles, uh, information in the study Bibles. Now, the Wearsby still going to have more references at the bottom, more commentary, so to speak. They're both going to have in-text headers, really visible in-text headers. Both of these are what I would consider a basic study Bible. 
and here the Haley's has almost a large print concordance. And what I mean by basic, I mean this is not going to be like real revelatory, but it is going to just give you, this is what the Bible has to say. Now the Haley's is in NIV, this Wearsby's is in the New King James. I'm not sure if either one comes in other translations. Was it Edmund Haley? The Wearsby has the, excuse me, the Haley's has the basic Nelson Zondervan maps in the back. I'm thinking Wearsby is going to have the same thing. So because they're both owned by the same company, yeah, they're going to be basically the same maps. So what can I tell you? Um, the Haley's is easier to carry. It's smaller print, but maybe just about as readable. It's going to be more full colorish, like the new Holy Land CSB Bible. Um, it's going to be good stuff. I think the Wearsby is just going to have more information overall. But no, that comes with a price. It's going to come with a price that it is a bigger Bible. And what I mean by bigger, it is thicker. But just know this is the greatest time in human history for Bibles. And uh, we just need to get the word out. And I want the world to be flooded with Bibles. God bless you. Love you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah.